I hope you guys are all having a phenomenal day. Easy Auto Fix here and today we're going to learn symptoms of a bad AC pressure switch. The purpose of the AC pressure switch is to act as a safety mechanism. If it notices the refrigerant pressure getting too high or too low, it will shut off the compressor to avoid damaging it. The best way to locate the pressure switch is to follow the AC lines. The low pressure switch will be on the larger line while the high pressure switch will be on the smaller line. Now the location can vary between cars, so here's some common locations of the pressure switch. The first symptom of a bad AC pressure switch is having your check engine light on. If you have a faulty pressure switch, these codes may pop up. Now you can scan these codes by going to the parts store near you and they'll most likely do it for free. Or you can buy the scanner that I have that's worth it, linked in the description below. You can still have a faulty pressure switch with no check engine light, so let's move on to the next symptom. The second symptom is noticing the compressor not turning on. You'll notice the clutch not engaging at all. As mentioned earlier, the purpose of the pressure switch is to turn on and off the compressor. Therefore, if the AC pressure switch is malfunctioning, the clutch won't engage, preventing the compressor from pumping refrigerant throughout the AC system. This causes the third symptom, AC blowing warm air. Since the compressor isn't turning on due to a defective switch, there won't be any refrigerant being pumped throughout the AC system resulting in no cool air coming out from the vents. It's important to note that your car can blow warm air due to low refrigerant levels. I'll leave a recharge kit in the description below. The fourth symptom is the AC not working consistently. A good working compressor will cycle on and off to maintain the temperature it was set for. If the pressure switch in your car starts to go bad, you'll notice the AC switching on and off more frequently without reaching the desired temperature. If you want to learn symptoms of a bad AC compressor, make sure to check this video out right here so I can see you in the next one.